I think the strategy that we've done the most work on and maybe is, is one of the most powerful is doing acts of kindness for others, basically supporting other people, being generous and, and, and kind. Uh, we have lots of studies where we ask people in different ways, classic study, classic paradigm, we use paradigm sort of our, our, our procedure that we use is we ask people for the next month, do three more acts of kindness every week than you normally do, all in a single day. So let's say today's Wednesday, every Thursday or every Monday for the next month, do three extra acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. And we find that makes people feel more connected, happier. We have a control group. We tend to have a control group where we ask people, uh, instead of do acts of kindness for others, do acts of kindness for yourself. So uh, something self-indulgent, like give yourself a treat, you know, buy yourself something nice to eat or have a massage or take a walk uh, in the sun. And we find that acts of kindness for yourself, it do, they, they don't increase your happiness sort of in a- That is so disappointing, you know? You know how many people be disappointed with that result? It's like the data, the, the study by Liz Dunn and others where they, they gave people $20 and they asked them to either to spend it on themselves or others. And people right. were happier when they spent the $20 on other people.